My name is Nia Roberts. In May 2007, I volunteered at Harness Wildlife Foundation in Namibia. I loved it so much I returned in December. The footage you're about to see was shot during my second visit and shows just a few of the incredible animals I have come to know during my time at Harness. This is Bamboo. We had something special going on last time I was here. Did we, Bubba? It doesn't need me quite so much anymore, but we still get on well. One of them's gone down the back of my trousers. Crazy quietly. And there's now tissue all over the cage because I've come in with the pockets full of tissue paper. But it could be worse. Nothing else on me. Hey, Yakby, can you get out from underneath there? He said she's gone right down, the, right down my pants and trying to give me a wedgie. So it takes a little while before you can sit in here like this. And even I'm getting this stuff, even though they all know me. Don't expect to come out and be able to brush your hair. Whee! Did the monkey down my top? You can't both go. <laughs> Sharing. <laughs> Hi, you guys. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he has dropped it before it's even gone in your mouth. That's not a good start, is it? Come on, bud. That was Borky, and he's our baboon that has epilepsy and Down syndrome, which is why I was feeding him through the bars. He's just appeared behind it and I might try him from over there, but he doesn't always want to finish. He seems to be having quite a good day today, though. If he's walking around, this is a good sign. Here you go. It's a good boy. He has good days and bad days, and some days he can't keep things in his mouth, and some days he has seizures. Yesterday, he had a couple of mini seizures while we were feeding him. Good boy! Got that right in. This is very good. He takes everything very gently. Oh dear, drop one. Tongue is like sandpaper. And she's just licking where I was bitten the other day. <laughs> but it is lovely at the same time. That's it, exfoliate. I don't need a leafer anymore. This is one of, the, one of the first kills of our little baby leopard, who as you can see has got no problem with instinct. She didn't actually catch it, the Bushman did. And she's doing an absolutely terrible job of making sure it's dead before she starts pulling it to pieces. And the cat just got in the way and she went crazy. <laughs> Cats just got in the way. We think she's going to have a bit of a terrible personality when she gets older. Okay, that was a leg that just got pulled off. So I'm really hoping for the bird's sake that it's dead now. She's snorting like a pig at the moment. She's one of her most often made sounds. It's dead. 